Oh, hello. There. So clean you can see your face in it. Oh, hello. Do you like our cup? It's the prize for the sports day competitions this afternoon. What was that, Sue? Oh, hello. I was just telling the boys and girls about the sports day. Oh, yes. Mr Slater's put me in charge this year. Oh. Oh, it's Mr Slater. Hello, Mr Slater. Yes, everything's here. Nothing will go wrong. If it does, I can have the sack. <laughs> I don't need a sack. I've already got one. <laughs> you mean I'll get the sack? Oh, uh, oh, he's gone. Oh, dear. Hope everything goes well. Mm. Where are Sooty and Sweep? Oh, I think they're warming up at the gym. Oh. Sooty, I just thought I'd come and see how you were getting on. Where's Sweep? He just took off. Oh, that's a shame. So are you all ready for the competitions? You're going to win Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy. <laughs> all right, Smarty Bunch. Come on, then let's see your muscles. Uh... <laughs> Come on, then the other one. <laughs> Sooty, they're like peas in a pod. <laughs> what? You're going to get them really big with the chest expanders. Ooh, go on then. Sooty, show us how it's done. Come on. Are you sure you can do this? Go on, have another go. Come on. Oh, Sooty, this is very difficult. This time, put all your effort into it. Come on, really let rip. Come on, come on. Brilliant, Sooty. Brilliant. One, two, one, two. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Slater Sports Day. Over to you, Sue. Thank you, Richard. That's right, boys and girls. Slater Sports Day is the sporting event of the year. Over to you, Richard. Thank you, Sue. Our expert athletes are now warming up for the first competition, which is called... Over to you, Sue. This is no yoke. It's the egg and spoon race. Over to you, Richard. Thank you, Sue. Sack for you. Thank you. Here's one for you. Thank you. Good girl. Here's one for Thank you. Thank you. And here's one for you. Thank you. And one each for Sooty and Sweep. There you go. Yes. How do you do a sack race? <laughs> oh, it's easy. In fact, you're talking to a sack race expert, actually. What? Show you. Well, all right. Then look, it's simple. You just get both feet and put them right inside the sack like this. Very important to pull the sack right up so you're right inside it. Just like this, you see? Ah, it's all gone dark. Where's the door? Take your places. Hello? Get set. Go! What's going on? Let me out. I can't see where I'm going. Shutty! Oh. Under canine contestant sweep has taken the lead. This is incredible. Richard has well and truly got 
the sack! Oh, uh, 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 hello, yes, Mr. Slater. Yes, everything's going very well. Bye bye. Help! Go! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Richard, your sack must have somehow tied itself into a knot. Don't understand this, Sue. It's never done that before. Well, actually, Sooty did it. It was very silly of him. You could have hurt yourself. Uh, excuse me. Boys and girls, it's time for the event you've all been waiting for. The grand final of Slater's Sports Day. The Long Jump. Will the two finalists take their places in the jump? Now, boys, before we can start the final competition, here are the rules. Now, we need two markers for this. The first marker is where you start the jump, and we'll put the second marker down where you finish the jump. Then we'll measure the distance between the two, and whoever's jumped the furthest will be the winner! <laughs> right, who's going to jump first? You both can't jump at the same time, can you? We'll let Sooty go first, because he won the first race! Off you go, Sooty. Right, let's measure it. We could have a record on our hands there. That was definitely the landing point. Here we go then, Sooty. Let's see. We've got... Wow, it's 60 centimetres! And a record jump from Sooty there! Yes? Your turn now. Oh, all right then. You're an expert. Oh, he's an expert, ladies and gentlemen. OK, sweet. Your turn. sure you're an expert? <laughs> okay. Well, let's measure it anyway. You can help measure it if you want. Let's put the marker in first. That's where you landed, wasn't it? OK, you can hold the tape measure. <laughs> Go on, up. put it at the starting thing. I don't think we're in for any record breaking today. Let's measure it, so Sooty. Wow! It's 80 centimetres! 80 cent... <laughs> hey, sausage brain, let go of it. Go on. <laughs> Come here. He's going to have to go, that dog. Move out of the way. Come on, let's measure it properly. Let's have a look. <laughs> it's 16 centimetres. Yes? Can you have another go? I don't, should we give him one more go, everybody? Yeah. Yes? All right, then one more go. But this time, sweet, take a really good run at it. You got it? A run. Yeah, well, go on, whenever you're ready, then. Really good run. Sooty, dig him out. <laughs> Welcome back, Sweet. That was pretty good. Right. Yes, we'll measure it. We'll measure it. I know it's there. I got it. Right. Okay. Here we go, then, everybody. Let's find out what it was, and we've got to. <gasps> 60 centimetres, which means it's a draw! And so, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I can announce the joint winners of Slater's Sports Day. And the prize goes to Sooty and Sweep! Over to you, Richard. Thank you, Sue. Yes, come on, boys, take a bow! Oh, dear. It looks like Richard's making a prize fool of himself. <laughs> bye bye, everybody. Uh, bye bye. Oh, hello there. We're just off to bed. Hello. Richard, why are 
are we going to bed so early? Because I have to be up bright and early, seven o'clock sharp tomorrow morning, Sue. Mr. Slate has put me in charge of the Keep Fit class. <laughs> it's very important I get a good night's sleep so I can be up bright and early. So uh, it's Betty buys, or should that be Teddy buys for you, Sooty? Uh, hang on, where is Sooty? I don't know. Maybe he's gone to bed already. Uh, maybe we'll say good night to him for me, Sue. Yes. Well, night, night, Richard. Good night, Sue. Aww. Good night, sweet. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> night. Good. Will you just get to bed, please? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Good night, everyone. Ah, time for some shut eye. <laughs> Good night. <sighs> <laughs> What are you doing here? You are supposed to be in bed. You are in bed? Yes, I can see that. You're in my bed and you're supposed to be in yours. What are you doing? You're looking for your pet mouse. Oh, hang on a minute. Did you say pet mouse? I didn't know you had a pet mouse. Well, where is he? He's gone missing. You left his cage open this afternoon and now he's escaped. Oh, ah! <laughs> stop, stop doing that. You're looking for Mr. Whiskers. Mr. Whiskers? Don't worry. He won't have escaped from the caravan, that's for sure. Mice are very clever creatures. He's probably cuddled up, having a sleep, nice and warm, which is exactly what I'd like to be doing. So if you don't mind, go on, off to bed. <sighs> what? Can you stay here? What? In here? On my bed? You won't be any trouble. I won't even know you're here. All right. As long as you don't make any noise. Excellent. Well, uh, good night, Sooty. Good night, everybody. <sighs> Excuse me. I said, excuse me. Excuse me. Your music is keeping me awake. Off with that. Put it away. And off to bed. Good night. Again, you'll have a lumpy bottom. So put your head on the pillow. Go on. Uh, on the pillow and good night. <sighs> oh! Sooty! What's one of Sweep's dog bones doing in the bed? 
It's probably dog tired. <laughs> yes, well, that's very funny, but it's very late and I've got to be up early in the morning. So let's get rid of this dog bone and get back to sleep. Good night. <laughs> Now what? Can you have a bedtime story? A bedtime story? Just a quick one to help you nod off. Oh. All right then. If I read you a bedtime story, you'll go straight to sleep, okay? Good. Well, go and fetch the story then. I don't know. honey jar of sooties. <coughs> yes, now then. But how will we get him actually into the jar? <coughs> oh, have you thought of something, Sweep? <coughs> we can use a piece of cheese. <coughs> Mice love cheese, gosh, all right. And we've got a nice tasty piece of cheese in the fridge. <coughs> Let's go and get some, yes. Well, ho hold on, Sweep. We'd better take this torch, because we don't want to turn the lights on and disturb Richard. He'll get very cross if he doesn't get lots of sleep. Hmm. Chapter 42, The Lost Caves of Throng. The Caves of... What? A glass of milk. A glass of milk? Right, this is the last thing and then you're definitely going to sleep, all right? Cubs on her? A glass of milk. Let's catch them red-handed. There. Now, all we have to do is wait. We'll soon have that mouse safe and sound. What's that? We'll creep up on them and take them by surprise. Burglars, pa! Oh, no! Did you hear that? There's someone in the kitchen. And he just said, burglars! Burglars, sweep! We've been burgled! Yes! Quick, arm yourself. Don't worry, Sooty. We're going to teach them a lesson. We're not going to have anybody stealing our food. Did you hear that? They're stealing our food. Right, Sweep. Get ready to pounce. They're going to pounce? <gasps> You're right. Let's pounce first. You ready? OK. Now! You were stopping the burglars? Well, we were stopping the burglars. They were stealing cheese out of our fridge. Oh, that was just us, Richard. What, you two? So there weren't any burglars after all? Of course not. We were just coming to get some cheese to catch the mouse in the bedroom. Mouse? Sooty, just a minute, Sooty. Ah, there you are, Sooty, and look, Mr Whiskers is safe and sound. Well done, you two. Oh, thank you, Richard. Now let's put him to bed. Mm. There we go, Mr Whiskers. Now maybe you can get some sleep too. Mm. And we've got to get to bed. Do you know, I've still got to be up really early for Mr Slater's Keep Fit class, so bedtime. You can sleep soundly, Sweep. Now you've found your bone. And 
Sooty can sleep soundly too, now he's found Mr Whiskers. Right, off to sleep everybody. Oh my goodness, I've got to get to work. I've got Mr. Slater's keep fit class. Oh, Richard, Richard. Yeah? Don't forget to say goodbye. Oh, yes. <laughs> bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Oh, how brilliant. <laughs> oh, hello. We're getting ready for Slater's annual dance competition. People come from miles to compete. We even have celebrity judges. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, it's just like something off the telly. Oh, I'm so excited. How are you getting on, boys? <laughs> Nearly finished! Ha <laughs> ha! Brilliant! Because now that mirror ball is fixed, we can get on! Ah! <laughs> What's happened here? Humpty <laughs> Dumpty's gone disco! <laughs> Very funny! <laughs> Fix this properly, Sooty! <sighs> anyway, you look fantastic, Sue. Oh, thanks. This is one of my outfits for the competition today. It's for my tap dance. Tap dancing? Mm. I didn't know you had the legs for it. Oh, yes. Watch this. Oh, that's my girl. You could be a big hit. Ow! <laughs> Richard's so vain. He's always got his head in the mirror. <laughs> 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 Sooty, will you please fix this properly? <sighs> yes? Can you enter the dance competition? <laughs> well, what dance are you going to do? Tap dancing. <laughs> well, that's not tap dancing, sausage brain. <laughs> I've heard of the man in the mirror, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> Well, you lot can laugh as much as you like, because I am going to enter the disco dance section of the competition, representing Mr. Slater. Ooh. And what's more, I'm going to win. Oh, but Richard, you can't dance a step. I've taken care of that. I have one of our celebrity judges coming over this afternoon to give me a personal dance lesson, and I'm itching to get started. You're going to see a new man of grace, style and sophistication. Helena Persona, oh, thank you. No problems, Richard. I'm always keen to encourage people to learn how to dance, and I can't wait to get started. So come along. <laughs> chop, chop. Chop, chop. Right, come on, gang. Let's slip one. And stretch to the side, and over to the other, and stretch to the side, and down to the earth. Good. Richard, Richard, come and join us. I'm on my way. <laughs> oh, no, not you three! <laughs> now then, to be a really good dancer, you need to be fit, agile and dynamic. <laughs> Let's get started. Oh, and reach for the stars and dance. And reach for the stars and dance. And reach to the stars and down to your toes. Come on. <laughs> I'd rather not do the down to your toes. He won't do it. Why not? Because his trousers are too tight. <laughs> oh, come along, Mr. Professional. Show us how it's done. And reach for the stars and down to your toes. Oh, that's torn it. <laughs> right. Now you're all thoroughly warmed up. He's thoroughly worn out. <laughs> well, I'm raring to go. I can't wait to get started. You know, I was born to dance. I've always known it. And when my mother saw me in the school nativity play, she knew it too. Right, Richard. Well, all I need to see at first is you just moving along in time to the music. Moving along with the music. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd just start with some break dancing. With moves like that, the only thing you're going to break is your nose. <laughs> I think you'll find your shoelaces are tied together. 
Oh, 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 oh. I'm not sure quite how that happened, but never mind. Being a professional dancer, like us, things can get tough. Yes, well, Richard, why don't you just try again? Now, just imagine yourself gliding across the room, creating a real impact for the crowd. Do you think you can do that? Yes, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> gliding across the floor, creating a real impact with the crowd. Watch this. <laughs> He certainly uh, did make an impact. <laughs> How was that? Well, Richard, I really think we should perhaps try something else. Now, listen, now, if you really want to win this competition, it's very, very important you strike a chord with the audience. Right. Let's go. <laughs> he really has struck a chord. <laughs> Competition's about to start, so before I win the disco dance section, I better introduce the judges. <laughs> it's showtime! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Slater's Dance Competition! Please welcome your judges, Ramsbottom! Oh, hello! And Butch! <laughs> All right. And now it's time for our first section, ballroom dancing, so take your partners, please! <laughs> Lad. Oh. Helena! Oh, Sooty, darling, you were brilliant. You were like the prince of the ballroom holding your very own princess. It was magical, simply magical, in fact. I loved it. Oh. Nine. Butch! The footwork could have been better. Oh. Oh. Some of the positioning of the hands looked ugly, but. I'll give it a nine. Now it's time for our next category, ballet dancing. Will all our competitors take your positions, please? Judges thought of that. Ramsbottom. Not bad, lad. Nine. Helena. You were like two stallions of dance. I loved it. Nine. Butch. The footwork could have been better. Oh, honestly. Some of the positioning of the hands looked ugly, but. I'll give it a nine. Yeah! And now it's time for the disco dancing section. So will all competitors take your places, please? <laughs> this is my category and I'm itching to win it. Such a 
great dancer. You put it in powder in his costume. <laughs> <laughs> Safely, please. Mr. Slater has put me in charge of the playground today, and I don't want any accidents, okay? <laughs> accidents like that. <laughs> Good. Whee! Oh dear, poor Sue. Are you feeling any better? Well, I'd be feeling fine, Richard, if I didn't have to live with these pesky boys. Yes, it was all rather silly, wasn't it? Mm. You're sorry? Oh, don't worry. I'll soon be better. Well, seeing as Sue is poorly, you two boys can come with me through to the kitchen and we'll cook something nice to cheer Sue up. Do I have to stay here, Richard? Yes, of course, Sue. You need to stay in bed and look after your poorly foot. Oh, Richard. Come on, Sue. Don't be a moaning mini. We're going to take very good care of you. Come on, boys. <laughs> what should we cook? I don't know. Why don't we make Sue a lovely cake? I wonder what flavour she'd like. Bone. Um, excuse me, I've told you before, Sweep, about bringing your dirty old bones into the kitchen, so go on, get rid of it. Yes, get rid of it. Go on. Yeah, get rid of it. Get rid of it! Right, what should we do then, Sooty? What should we... Fetch the mixing bowl, that's a good idea. It's going to be a lovely cake for Sue, this... A... <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist that. Right then, what are we going to put in this mixing bowl? What? Eggs, flour, milk and sugar. Oh, that sounds like a lovely mixture. Come on then, get busy. Eggs, flour, milk and sugar. Oh, there's the flour. There's the egg. Oh, I'll pop it in there. Not with the shell on. Oh. Okay, look, I'll put in the sugar, you put in the flour. Here we go then. There we are. That should do it. Lovely. Oh. Good. Richard! That's Sue calling. Come on. Richard! Don't worry, Sue, we're here, we're here. Now, what's the problem? Oh, I just wondered if I could have a glass of orange juice. Oh, well, of course you can, Sue. Sooty, go and get Sue a glass of orange juice, please. Oh, how much longer do I have to stay here? Until your leg is better, Sue. Thank you, Sooty. Well done. You can enjoy that now. Oh, thank you. Please, can I come and help you? I'm fed up with just lying here. Don't be a moaning mini, Sue. We've got everything under control. Come on, Sooty. <sighs> right, oh, Sooty, now where were we? We need to put the milk in. That's a good idea. Go and get the milk. You know, this cake's going to be lovely for Sue. A little bit gritty with the eggshell, but I'm sure that... Excuse me, you're not supposed to drink it. Oh! Give me the milk, let's put it in the bowl. There we are. Right, give it a good stir. Do you know, I think this is turning out really well, Sooty. I... Hang on a minute. What's that noise? Ah. Now, what are we going to do about this bone of his? What? <laughs> Throw it down the plug hole. <laughs> yes, down the plug hole. Go on, wash it away. Right, that's got rid of it. It's down the plug hole. 
Yes, down the plug hole. <laughs> Come on, Sooty, let's put this cake in the oven. Yes, down the plug hole. <laughs> down the plug hole. Oh, be quiet. <laughs> that, that's Sue calling. We better see what she wants. Be coming, Sue. to help me pass the time. Biscuit, no problem. Sooty, you see you're in very good hands, Sue. Oh, thank you, Sooty. Oh, uh, could you put it down over here, please? Uh, no, no, put it on the other side, please. No, I've changed my mind. Ow! Hang on, what's that noise? Sounds like it's coming from the kitchen. Uh-oh, you're right, it does. Uh, we won't be long, Sue. Come on, Sooty, quick. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> You're trying to get your bone back, but you can't. It's gone now. Oh, you've probably gone and broken the taps. Let's have a look. Turn it on, Sooty. Oh, no! Sooty, look! There's water coming out everywhere! Oh, oh, turn it off! Turn it off! And... Oh, sweep, you sausage brain! Look what you've done! We're going to have to get a plumber in to fix it. What's that, Sooty? You can fix it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Uh, oh, dear. Now we're in trouble. Go on, then. Try it. Turn on the tap. Well, it's not supposed to do that, is it? Hang on a minute. Now, where's the pepper? There was a pepper pot here earlier. I'm sure there was. Where's it gone? <laughs> Down the plug hole? Oh. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't start sneezing. Don't start sneezing. Ooh. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm coming, Sue. Are you all right, Sue? Oh, yes. I was just wondering if I could have my comic to read in bed. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, no problem. Sweep, could you get Sue's comic for her, please? <laughs> there we go, Sue, your favourite comic. Now, can we get you anything else? Oh, no thanks, Richard. I must say, though, <laughs> it's really nice having everyone make a fuss of me. <laughs> <gasps> oh, no, Sooty, what on earth's happened? Oh, look at you, what... You slipped on a banana skin and broke your leg? What? Oh, well, quickly, get into bed then. Broke his leg on a banana skin. Quickly jump in. There you go. Oh, let me take that off you. Look at that. Come on, put your poorly leg up here. Oh, look at this. Now, is there anything I can get for you, Sooty? Uh, what's that? A cup of tea? All right, I'll certainly get you a cup of tea. That's a... Sorry? And some biscuits. Oh, OK. I'll get you biscuits and a cup of tea. Biscuits and a cup... Something else? What's that? Your laptop. Is there anything else I can get for you? You'll let me know. Well, thank you very much. What was that? Oh, sweet! Oh, look at you! What's happened? You've broken your leg. Not you as well. Let's take that off you then. Well, you're going to have to get straight into bed as well. Right this second. And we'll look after you. Don't worry. Broken his leg. Oh, here it is. Now tell me, does it hurt, sweet? There, does it? Oh, it hurts. What about these paws? Does that hurt? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He's really hurting here. What about this head? No? The head. Right. Can you have cake and a chocolate milkshake? Uh, what's that? You'll have one of those too, and you want yours first because you're more poorly than sweep. Oh, I see. So I've got three poorly patients now, have I? Oh, no, you haven't. Look, I'm completely recovered. Oh, well, that's great to hear, Sue, because it sounds like your cake is ready. Ooh. It's just such a shame that the boys will be too ill to come with us to eat some. <laughs> You're better now. Oh, well, that's a miracle, isn't it? My flabber is ghasted. In fact, my flabber's never been so ghasted. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh. That cake 
cake was delicious, Richard. Though a bit on the crunchy side. Anyway, I'm glad Sooty and Sweep have made such a swift recovery. <laughs> yes, indeed. Anyway, time to get back to work, but not before I join my favourite panda for a spot of roller skating. <laughs> what do you reckon, Sue? Oh, I think it's a smashing idea. I'm so glad to be out of bed. Yes, and you won't be going back there if you just copy me. I don't like to brag, but I am somewhat of a roller skating expert. Geronimo! Richard, Richard, careful! Mind! The thing! <laughs> but I only crunched my finger! Oh! Don't you think you've rather overdone it with the bandages, Sooty? Richard, you need to stay there until you're better, and that's that. Come on, boys. Who wants some more crunchy cake? Oh. Richard, stop being such a moaning mini. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. Bye-bye. Yes, good morning. Good morning, Sooty. Good morning, Sweep. Hang on, where's Sweep? <laughs> What are you doing in there? <laughs> Looking for the free toy? <laughs> You've found it? <laughs> Would you like some cereal, Richard? Oh, yes, please, Sue. After all, a fed body is a fit body. <laughs> <laughs> There's no more left. <laughs> Who ate them all? Hmm. Hey, why am I dressed like this? Aha, because I am off to Mr. Slater's new fitness centre. <laughs> What's so funny? Come on. Oh, sorry, Richard. I thought you said you were going to Mr. Slater's new fitness centre. I did. <laughs> all right, all right. You see, I'm going to get fit. This body is going to change completely. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to run to the fitness centre and what's more, I'm going to time myself. Hey, do I want to borrow your calendar? <laughs> All right, smarty pants. You'll see, you'll see. This body is going to change completely. <laughs> oh, Richard's forgotten his phone. I'd better answer it. Hello? Oh, hello. Sue here, Mr Slater. Yes, Mr Slater. Yes, Mr Slater. As soon as possible, Mr Slater. Bye, Mr Slater. Who was that? I've no idea. Bone brain. Mr Slater says he's short-staffed at the fitness centre. I said we'd get there as soon as possible, so let's get changed. Izzy, Wizzy. Let's get busy! Wow! Our tracksuits are really cool! <laughs> Yours is on backwards! <laughs> Come on, let's go! Good morning, sir. Welcome to Slater's Fitness Centre. My name is Amy. How can I help you? May I borrow a towel, please? Of course. One towel, please. One towel, please. <coughs> what are you three doing here? We're helping out Mr Slater. <coughs> is it raining? No, it is not raining. And anyway, I'm going to dry off by giving my vascular system an extreme workout by pumping my glutinous muscles on the pneumatic training machine. I'm going in the gym. Could you please furnish me with a beverage that will replenish my body salts? Get me a drink. Thank you so much for helping us out today, guys. Oh, it's a pleasure. Now, what would you like us to do, Amy? There's an aerobics class in five minutes. Who would like to do that? No, 
Wait, not aerobatics, aerobics. Yeah. Oh, don't worry, Amy. I'll do it. Thank you, Sue. We need someone to help out in the gym. <laughs> OK, City, you can do it. What do I want you to do? Just get that funny man his drink. That's it, children! Jump! Up! 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 Keep going! Up! Up! Sir, welcome to Slater's Fitness Centre. My name is Amy. How can I help you? May I borrow a towel, please? <laughs> is it raining again? No, it's not raining, and I'm freezing. Would Sir like to try the outdoor jacuzzi? You will feel amazing. The hot bubbles, you are going to feel so relaxed. That sounds wonderful. Excellent. City, would you take this gentleman to the outdoor jacuzzi for me, please? Sue, would you like to take the yoga class? Oh, certainly, Amy. <laughs> and Sweet, can you get the customer his drink for me, please? <sighs> ah, this is nice. Oh, hello, Sooty. Do I want you to turn it on? Well, of course I want you to turn it on. Now that is lovely. Here's my drink. Oh, sweet! You've dropped it in the water. Don't worry. You'll get it. Oh, sweet! Oh, sweet! What are you doing down there? Oh, sweet! Sweet! Oh, sweet! Oh, you've got it. Oh, well done. What's the matter? You can't get out. Oh, oh, hang on, look. I can see there's something caught on your foot. It's all tied around here. <laughs> oh, well, what's this chain? You don't know. Pull it. I think it's stuck. Pull it hard. All right, then there we go. Oh, no. It's the plug. Good morning, sir. Welcome to Slater's Fitness Centre. My name's Amy. How can I help you? May I borrow a... Oh, you look a bit washed out. <laughs> you do look a little bit pale. I'd recommend you have a spray tan in our new spray tanning booth. It'll give you a lovely, healthy glow. Oh, that would be lovely, Amy. City, please can you take this gentleman to the spray tanning booth for me, please? 
Sweet, can you make sure that the tanning solution is all topped up? Be careful, the decorators left all their equipment in the control room. Right, Sooty, so all I have to do is stand in there and you'll turn on the spray tan? Ha <laughs> ha! Got it! Right, I'm going in. Turn it on then, Sooty! Ah, that's it. I'm going to get a beautiful golden tan. <laughs> Everything okay with that funny customer? I think he's coming out now. I can't seem to find a mirror anywhere. How do I look? Well, you've certainly got a bit of colour now, Richard. You know, I said I was going to change my body. Yes, I did say that. Well, I have. Oh, thank you, Sooty, and thank you, Amy. People are certainly going to look at me very differently now. Bye-bye. Good morning, madam. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.